Alright, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this Samyang Hot Pulduk, um Artificial Spicy Chicken Ramen Noodles. Alright, so normal price eleven forty nine. It was three dollars off, so that would make it what was that eight fifty? Yeah, basically about eight fifty for six of these. So right, six three point seven ounce, one hundred five gram bowls, right? Artificially spicy chicken flavored ramen. Stir fried ramen, this side up. All right, you can see what else they got. Best Buy information. This was actually purchased back on August 17th. Um, what's that? August, and that was 2023. This is 2024. So 10 months, about 10 months or so. Okay, this is Halal, it says, do not mic wait, do not microwave. Does that mean we gotta pour boiling water in this? Well, here you go. Ah! Okay, so I guess I'm gonna take these out first because I don't know if it's a good idea to flip it all upside down, especially since it says keep that side up. Okay, so we'll tear these out. And I already flipped it upside down once, so it's too late. Um, each bowl is actually individually wrapped in another plastic film. And they are labeled for individual individual retail sale. So if you want, you can sell these in a store if you have one. And yeah, all right. So here's the bottom of the box. Though maybe it's the same stuff on the other on the bowls. So, but here you go. Samyang Pulduk artificial spicy chicken ramen flavored ramen big bowl. Huchi, what is that? <laughs> Oh, that's the name of the chicken. Okay, nutrition facts. Six servings. Serving size is one package, 440 calories, 16 grams of fat, 21%. Saturated fat, 8 grams, 40%. Uh, 960 milligrams of sodium, 42%. Carbs, 64 grams, 23%. Dietary fibers, 2 grams, 7%. Sugars, 8 grams, which includes 4 grams of added sugar, 8%. Protein, 10 grams. 30 milligrams of calcium, 2%, 0 0.5 milligrams iron, 2%, and 180 milligrams potassium, 4%. All right, ingredients, there are lots. Ramen noodles are made from wheat flour, food starch, modified palm oil, wheat, gluten, less than 2% of salt, glycerin, soy lecithin, polygly polyglycerol, esters of fatty acids, onion extract, potassium carbonate, sodium carbonate, disodium phosphate, guar gum, tocopherols and riboflavin for color. All right, then the sauce packet has water, artificial chicken flavor powder uh, made from artificial flavor, dextrin, sugar, disodium-5, ribonucleotide, yeast extract, garlic powder, maltodextrin, salt, corn starch, uh, gl and glycerin. Then there's soy sauce seasoning made from soybeans, water, salt, wheat, gl uh, sodium carbonate, high fructose corn syrup, disodium-5, ribonucleotide, garlic, steviol, glyc uh, glycoside, maltodextrin, sugar, all right, and then there's sugar, hot pepper, seasoning uh, made from red pepper, dextrin, salt, sugar, onion powder, monosodium glutamate or MSG, maltodextrin, artificial flavor, garlic powder, silicon dioxide, soy sauce, um, which is made from defatted soybeans, water, and salt, caps uh, capsicum oleoresin, uh, disodium inosinate, disodium uh, guanulate, paprika, uh, paprika oleoresin for color. Um, that's what makes up the hot pepper seasoning. And then there's soy soybean oil, onion, red pepper seed oil, less than 2% of garlic, food starch modified, capsicum oleoresin, paprika oleoresin for color, black pepper powder, natural and artificial curry flavor, which is cumin, salt, maltodextrin, and artificial flavor. Right, the flake packet is made from sesame seeds and dried seaweed, and this contains wheat, soy, and sesame. Uh, it's imported by that the company in Los Angeles, California, made in South Korea, and manufactured in a facility that also processes egg, milk, fish, crustacean, shellfish, tree nuts, and peanuts. So if you're highly allergic, be careful. Here are the cooking directions: open the lid halfway and remove the two packets. Pour boiling water up to the inner line. Um, then close the lid and let it stand for four minutes. After four minutes, drain all the water and then add sauce and flakes, then stir and serve well. I have like a hot water dispenser, but I don't think it boils the water, so I'm probably going to have to uh, 
I've done it before. <laughs> the, water, the noodles will turn out too hard. Um, I'll try it though. We'll see. We'll we'll try the hot water dispenser, and maybe have to leave it longer than four minutes. But yeah. Um, okay, four minutes. Drain all the water, and then add the sauce and flakes, and then stir well. So let's open this. So this again is also sealed. Okay, rip that open. I guess I flipped it all upside down so it doesn't matter anymore now. And then it said to open it halfway. They actually have these lines here to show you where. Um, here you can see what the bowl packaging looks like. Um, they put the some allergen information there. And yeah, all the ingredients and everything here. If you wanted to see it again. All right, here it says again halfway boiling water to the inner focus to the inner line come on and then let's stand for four minutes okay so we'll open it all the way to that dotted line we'll remove the two packets and then we'll put in some hot water all right I'll be back oh and if you're wondering the inner line is all the way down there right there okay all right so here we have the bowl filled with the hot water and we're gonna let it sit for again it said for four minutes so I'll see you guys in four minutes. Or let's start now. Dun, 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 dun. Just kidding. Bye. <laughs> All right. So it's basically been about four minutes. Let's take a look. That's what it looks like. It says to drain off all the water. So I'm going to hold this and then I'm going to pour it out like from the side here. So that way it doesn't burn me. All right. And I'll see you guys once it's drained. All right. We're at the sink now. And like I said, I'm going to hold it here and let's see if we can pour it out without burning myself. All right. And there you go. We're just going to drain all this water. Now it's been sitting in the water for much more than four minutes because of the time it takes to drain. I don't know how well it needs to be drained, if it needs to be fully drained or... If it's okay if there's some water dripping out, because as you can see, it's still going to be dripping. I don't know if they expect me to use like a strainer to do this, but uh, all right. There we go. Oh, I'm dumb. They actually have this, so be careful. Hot water, use chopsticks, poke holes to drain the water. <clears throat> okay, give me a second. All right, and I was actually about to comment how some noodle bowls have these drain holes. I didn't see it because it blended in so well, but uh, I guess you just poke it. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, poke close to the tip of the triangle and then pull it down, I guess. I don't know, it doesn't work too well. So there we go. I guess it's not perforated. It just has like drawings there to tell you that's how you, where you do it. But as you can see, I already drained all the water enough, so maybe my method works is perfectly fine. You don't have to worry about poking holes. All right, let's go move back over and mix it all together. All right, let's open this up. <clears throat> and we will add the things together and stir it. All right, I'm gonna put the flaky stuff in first. I don't think it matters which one you do first as long as you just stir it up really well. Okay, shouldn't matter. And then we got this sauce and they actually tell you that you should tear it like that at an angle and the reason you do that is so that it doesn't spill everywhere so we're gonna tear it at an angle like that okay and pour the sauce in mm-hmm Okay, let's give this sauce a taste. Salty, savory, sweet, tastes really good. All right, let's stir this all together. The noodles do seem a bit firm. And again, I didn't use boiling water, I used the hot water dispenser. So depending how you like your noodles, if you like them more firm or if you like them soggier, you can leave it in longer or take it out sooner. 
dump it out sooner. All right. This is what it looks like. Stir it all together. There we go. My friend's probably going to try it first. So, in the meantime, you guys can stare at this and this. You can stare at these bull ducks. All right. Bull duck. Bull ducks. <laughs> there you go. How do you say it? Pull duck. Pull duck. Pull duck. Say it again. Pull duck. Close enough. <laughs> Pull duck. <laughs> How's it? How does it compare to the packet kinds? Cause I'm used to eating the flat packet kinds. So. Why does it taste a lot more saltier? Saltier? I don't know. Maybe cause I drained it so well. <laughs> Um, obviously you can adjust the spice and saltiness a little bit. Obviously it will be adjusted at the same time. You don't have to pour the whole amount of sauce in. You just pour in how much you like. And yeah, it might be because I drained it well and I try and squeeze out all the sauce as I, from the packet. Like, it, it, the sauce is too much. Too much sauce? Okay. So depending how you like it, make sure maybe add a little sauce at a time. Try it and go from there. But um, yeah, let me grab it and give it a try. All right, so here we go. It might need an egg in here. Let's give this a try though. Maybe I'll fry an egg and, and then throw it in. It is salty, pretty salty. Spice wise, I don't know. I've eaten the two times spicy ones and stuff. It's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it is pretty salty. Honestly, the flavor of the, um, the regular packet ones that you cook on the stove, I feel, is better. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna get a fried egg and put it in here. And then we'll give it another try. Give me a second, I'll be back. All right, sadly all the eggs have been consumed, so I'm gonna throw a slice of Kraft cheese in it, but I'm probably gonna have to microwave it because <laughs> I don't think it's hot anymore. So let me do that and I'll be back. All right, so I microwaved it for about 15 minutes. Obviously your microwave will vary. Probably should have done 20 seconds. As you can see, it's still, it's still <laughs> kind of solid. But let's go ahead and try some. See if that's made it better, worse, or did nothing. Mm. It's alright. But egg definitely would be better. And you want it where the yolk is runny. But, um, yeah. The only thing with eating spicy stuff like this, it doesn't hurt too much going in, but most of the time it hurts coming out. So keep that in mind if you're eating this, um, even if your spice tolerance is high. I don't know if you can build your spice tolerance down there. <clears throat> or in your stomach. <laughs> So, yeah, not bad. Again, I do prefer the ones in the bags that you cook on the stove. And since you do have to use boiling water, drain this, um, and then mix it all together, I guess the only benefit is you don't have a pot to wash because you just boil water in a kettle and you don't need to wash a boiled water kettle or cup or whatever you boil it in so there's that benefit but 
I would say it's better to just use the one in the pot. It tastes better. All right, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.